Hello and welcome. My name is Mark. This is Riffle Shuffle and Roll. And today I'm going to show you how to play a little game called The Fox in the Forest. If it's your first time visiting the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and the bell so you're notified about new games every week. The Fox in the Forest is a trick-taking card game for two players. In this game, players will be using special card powers to try and manage how many tricks they take because both of them are trying to take a specific number of tricks. If one player takes too many, then they will score zero points for the round. So the powers will help players balance how many tricks they take and try to score within that sweet spot each round. With all that said, let's go to the table and learn how to play. And I'll catch you at the end for my final thoughts. Out of the box, you will get an instruction booklet, a 33 card deck, scoring tokens, and two reference cards. This game has a three suited deck. There are 11 cards in each suit. And all of the odd number cards have a special power. The powers are the same for all three suits. Losing the trick after playing a one allows you to lead the next trick. Playing a three allows you to change the trump suit. Playing a five allows you to draw one card from the stock and discard one card. A seven is an automatic game point if you capture it. A nine always becomes the trump suit. And when an 11 is led to the trick, the other player must either play their highest card in that suit or a one. To set up for the game, deal each player 13 cards. Players can see their hands, but do not let your opponent see what you have. The rest of the cards are placed face down as a stock. Turn the top card over to determine the trump suit for the round. The non-dealer leads the first trick. They may play any card. The card that is led must be followed if possible. So player two needs to play a bell if they can. If they can't, they can play any card. They do have some bells, so they're gonna go ahead and play the four. The highest card in the suit that's led or the highest trump suit takes the trick. So here, the four takes the trick. Player one led the one of bells. And the special power for this card is if a player loses the trick after playing this card, they get to lead again. Normally, it is the trick winner that leads, but this special power changes that rule. Player two collects the trick, but player one gets to lead, and they're going to lead the three of bells. Now, this is a fox card, and the special power is that the player gets to change cards with the decree card, the card that determines the trump suit. If they want, they can change the trump suit. If they don't want to change the trump suit, they can just simply leave it there or even exchange a card of the same suit from their hand. So let's say, for example, they want that one, but they also want moons to stay trump. They can simply put the nine over here and add the one to their hand. For now, they're gonna leave that card alone and simply play the three of bells to the trick. Now player two must follow if they can, which they can. So they're gonna go ahead and capture this trick with the seven. And remember, capturing the seven is an automatic game point. So player two collects the trick and takes a scoring token for one point. So player two won the trick, they get to lead and they are going to lead the next trick with the trump suited 11 of moons. Now, the power on this card is that the opponent must play either the one in the same suit or their highest card. Of course, if they didn't have any cards in the suit, they could play anything. So player one does not have the one, they have to play their highest card. So this draws out the nine. This card is already in the trump suit, so the nine's uh, power does not go into effect, and the 11 takes the trick. They collect it, and they would get to lead. And that is the gist of the gameplay. You will continue until all of the tricks have been captured, and then you will tally up your score. 
let's go ahead and jump to how to keep score. Players earn points based on how many tricks they captured. So there are a couple sweet spots that a player wants to be in. If they capture zero to three tricks, they will earn six points for the round. If they capture seven to nine, they will also earn six points. Now, if you capture six, five, or four, that's okay, but you're not really getting very many points. It's either uh, three points for capturing six, two points for capturing five, or one point for capturing four. And of course, if you get too greedy and capture 10 to 13 tricks, you will earn nothing for the round. After the score has been tallied for the round, collect the cards and deal alternates each round. Continue playing rounds until one player has reached 21 points or more. That player is the winner. For a shorter game, play to 16, and for a longer game, play to 35. And that's how to play The Fox in the Forest. Now for a full review of this game, if you're watching this video the day it drops, then the full review will be posted tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. If you're watching this video in the future, then the link for the full review is in the description. It's a longer format video with a special guest. Taylor from Taylor's Trick Taking Table has joined me and we both go back and forth about our thoughts on the game. So I, I hope you check that out and I would love to hear your feedback on that video because it is my very first one. Well, that is it. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep on playing.